Okay, so now we're gonna open up our Spark Fun Inventor Kit 5C Autonomous Robot Code, and we're going to include three libraries, Wire.h, Spark Fun, SGP30 Arduino Library, and Spark Fun TMP102.h. You should already have those libraries installed so that when we include these, it does not throw an error. After we include the libraries, our next step is to declare our global variables. One is going to be an instance of TMP102 that we're gonna name sensor zero. The other one is going to be an instance of SGB30 that we're gonna call my sensor. Those are the temperature sensor class and the air quality sensor class. After that, we're going to create two global variables, CO2 thresh equals 800, which is going to be the threshold for moving the robot when we exceed that value. 800 may have to be changed based upon the CO2 in your area. And the temperature threshold, I have set at 74.5, but that may have to be changed based upon the temperature in your current environment. Next, we are going to add some code to our setup function that has to run once at the beginning. So you're going to put it at the very end under serial.print to infinity and beyond. And we have to insert the code to get the temperature sensor and the air quality sensor to start working. So first you're going to do wire.begin in order to start up the I squared C bus, which is where the quick connect sensor is attached. Then you're going to say, if not sensor zero dot begin, you're going to send an, alert to the, send an alert to the user that it could not detect the temperature sensor. And then next, we are going to put code to print out that the temperature sensor was successfully connected if it was detected, and then we're going to wait 100 milliseconds. Now we're going to do something similar for the air quality sensor. So if my sensor dot begin it does not start, you're going to send an alert to the user that it could not detect the SGP30 sensor detected or attached to the robot. And it'll be stuck there. Or if it is able to detect the sensor, you will get a message to start initializing air quality measurements and that it was successfully connected. And I use control T in order to line up my parentheses and my tabs so that if there's a mistake, that'll still work. All right, that's it for the global variable setups as well as the setup function. In our next video, we're going to do the loop function.